no. Oh, 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 I I'm like undercover boss. I just bust into the job site and I'm trying to see who's working, right? Mm, okay. My life is like the movie Groundhog Day. <laughs> it's the same five vertebrae that are wearing out. Uh -huh. Okay, let me have it. Let's focus right there. Let it go. There you go. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> rick him, rock him, rock him, rick. <laughs> Stick him sword into this thing. You stare at this. Defar, defar, That's right. you know, he, can't, he can't do it. Great. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. That's my favorite Disney movie. Mm -hmm. Love that one. All the world for you and me. Close. Yeah. Close. Yeah, it goes, kind of goes over left and then centers and then back. Yeah. Do that again. <laughs> it kind of goes to the left and then it goes, uh, 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 <laughs> Yeah. And you like open. Little, okay. So this part is probably being, both sides are going to be abused at some point. I was on a car trip um, from Florida to Asheville, North Carolina, and something about sitting in the car uh, driving, yeah. just made my left hip so painful. I couldn't like stand up, I couldn't lean forward, and I went to a chiropractor for it. They were like, oh, there's too much inflammation, we can't really get your hip to go back. So I went like four or five times, Okay. but it wasn't super helpful. And when you say hip, do you mean kind of... Kind of the lower like the back. SI joint? Kind of the glute area. Kind of specifically, yeah. Yeah, the lower back will refer pain. Kind of kind of glute area is mm -hmm. where that will be. What sitting does, especially a trip to of that distance, is it takes the curve and stretches the curve out of your back. And so like a ladder, all the weight goes right to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the arch in your spine allows the weight to be spread evenly over all the segments. And so okay. this is why we have lumbar support in our vehicles. But it's not nearly enough support. And we want to show you some things when you're sitting we can do to help really support that arch. Please, yeah. All about the lumbar support. <laughs> if, if, if the lumbar was properly aligned, that pain really isn't possible. So you okay. have to be in the wrong alignment for the certain parts of your back to be overstressed or like they were saying, inflammation. And so okay. we want to make your spine supple. Sometimes our back gets injured and then we get stiff and then that makes it harder for our body to be in the right alignment because our body's healed in the wrong alignment. Mm -hmm. um, and you currently, your job requires sitting for how many hours a day, would you say? Um, Eight-ish. Eight, okay. Yeah, so it's a pretty much sitting only job. Okay. How often do you have headaches? Um, a few times a week. I'm pretty sure it's related to keeping my neck forward. I feel a lot of tension in the back and stuff. We were just saying how, you know, the, the more forward your head goes, it not only causes, you said, some jaw pain on the right mm -hmm. and gastric reflux and headaches. Our world separates them into different boxes. I put them in one box of mm -hmm. our posture is not correct. Um, no numbness, nothing going down the arms, no numbness or tingling. Going I down. had a little bit. Um, so I noticed, like I really try at work to sit with my shoulders back and stuff, but I've had an issue where sometimes I roll my shoulders back and I get a very sharp pain. In between the shoulder between blades? Between the shoulder blades. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't always work. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. It's okay. Yeah, oh, the so numbness. Uh, yeah, I was sitting at my desk. And I noticed it when my shoulder was rounded forward. It came like kind of behind my elbow into my fingertips. Okay. And that's happened. It doesn't happen all the time, but every few weeks or so I get some of that. The position of your shoulder, a lot of times the shoulder goes forward to open up this channel. So there's a channel of nerves that travels down into your arm. And the forward, the forward shoulder position is a way to open it up. Mm -hmm. Now... It, it'll feel better to round forward. That's why you see elderly people all going forward because it avoids compressing nerves or avoids, you know, hitting anything in the backside. But when you're bringing your shoulders back, you're going, oh my gosh, there's things back there that I'm running into. And the backside of your spine has a lot more feeling than the front. And this is what you're noticing that you, we're going to have this kind of inclination to go forward. Mm -hmm. And it is a battle that we all have to fight to remain upright because the discs on the front not having any feeling make it easy to slouch, make it easy to just round forward. And let me just have you stand up for me. Okay. Is there any pain when you move your neck around? Or um, not at the moment, but sometimes if I sleep weird, um, I get pain on the left side when I look up. Uh huh. Or if I look this way, I think the head's about look straight forward. You're fine. You're about inch or so forward, inch and a half forward. We want to bring your head back by mm -hmm. loosening your spine and then we call mirror image stretching. So we're going to, at the end of our visit, after we've loosened you up, I'm gonna show you some stretching to do to 
The head weighs about 10 pounds. Every inch the head goes forward, the muscles have to double their workload. So it's about 10, 20, 40. <laughs> the muscles start having to really work hard. Yeah. And that's where that tension and soreness comes from because mm -hmm. the muscles are building up a lot of lactic acid. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, let me look at the rest of you. You're fine. Hips here. Hips are pretty low. Left, left hip's a little high. Sometimes the, our hips will go on level because, Ed, something's hurting. I have pain, and so your body will try to fidget and move things around. Mm -hmm. A lot of that misalignment will go away when there's no longer something to be avoided. On the extra, you can't really see the disc and you're young enough, 28. Yeah. You know, you're not going to see. Or 27. I don't know how old I am. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you start to lose track. I yeah. Think. After 21, it doesn't Late bad 20s, anymore. it's fine. <laughs> I've lost track too. Uh, so the disc we can't see on MRI, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, on x-ray. And so um, you can't, sometimes you get a, a bulging disc or actually a swollen disc on x-ray. It looks great. Uh, but then you look at an MRI and you go, oh my gosh, it's actually, you know, in trouble. So that's why I always sort of go to the MRI first. Have you crossed this arm under? All right, bend both the knees for me. There we go. Have you take a deep breath in, a little sit up for me, and then head back for me. And all the air out. Here we go. Here we go. Try to get them all. There you go. Good. I got you. Yeah. Here we go. Let it all go. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. I got you. It's okay. okay. We got some frozen areas. And that one a little bit there. Okay. So that's, that's where that stomach, all the nerves that go to your stomach come from there. Okay. A lot of, you have some injuries in there that we got to process. Mm -hmm. That's part of why your body wants to go forward is these joints don't want to compress. That makes right? sense. Yeah. And it's okay. We, I'm like undercover boss. I just bust into the job <laughs> site and I'm trying to see who's working, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it might be, somebody might say, well, doc, maybe you should have massaged her first. Well, I'm trying to get an assessment for how your spine moves without it being warmed up and yeah. that area not really moving that well. Exhale. There you go. Let it go. Here we go. Let's go other side for me. Take a deep breath in for me. Exhale. All right, other side for me. Face up for me. Face up. Let me see here. All right. All right. Supple, same thing. I'm gonna massage this in a second, but I also want to see how how loose this area is. How I'm gonna say willing this area is to function. Take a deep breath in, relax. I got you. Oh, just this top guy a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we got work to do. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah left side. <laughs> I thought it was so loud. <laughs> Not right there. Yep. Hello. He's been around for a couple of years, I mm -hmm. think. You know, we have an injury, a whiplash, or a fall, or who knows, and our body responds to it by shutting down that area. It says that area hurts. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna immobilize it. The muscles just kind of splint the area, mm -hmm. and as a result, another part has to compensate and take up that that burden and slack that that area wasn't wasn't doing anymore. So this area right here needs to be unlocked. Did you do gymnastics or any other sports in high school? Or what was your activities? Uh, I did uh, like rec league, volleyball. Okay. Um, I've kind of always been a little bit more of a sedentary person. Okay. I've had like joint issues in my knees and gotcha. ankles for most of my life. So you say indoor volleyball or indoor volleyball? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Well, it's still an intense sport. It's, I have people come in my office that do that, and it's not easy on your body. <laughs> no, it's not. That's why I didn't make it on my high school team. They wanted me to do rolls and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> I could, probably, probably for the better. Right? I don't know when I messed up my neck, but I know mm -hmm. at one point I got it looked at at a health fair at Universal and mm -hmm. it was like a little scan thing and it was red and I was like, oh. <laughs> we use red to scare people. <laughs> yeah. We use like pink or <laughs> blue. I, so, you know, not knowing what exactly they used, I can't say, but you know, mm -hmm. many times One's called a spinothermogram. My dad uses a kind of a probe. They run up along the spine and mm -hmm. it detects the temperature difference between the left and right. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't really subscribe to it. I, I don't know if that's the best way to determine where to adjust or how to treat someone. 
Um, okay. My life is like the movie Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same five vertebrae that are wearing out, and I feel like there's no TV commercial or billboard that helps teach us this, that the lower neck is under is always overstressed and the lower back is overstressed, and there's always a frozen middle back like you have <laughs> that is kind of a culprit and mm -hmm. needs to be addressed. And so we, we already know where all surgery happens. We already know where all, all arthritis primarily happens, right? We already know where mm -hmm. all disc herniations happen. Why do we need a spinal thermogram to, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we already have an idea of, and we know the causes. We, we know the causes of, of upper neck being stiff, the middle back being stiff, the alignment not being correct. And to me, we have a, so much time together. I'm gonna to devote as much time as I can in our care to addressing those causes. One, your upper neck is stiff. And then at the end of our visit, we're gonna work on stretching and restoring some of the natural, natural curves. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> they're supposed to be there. They were there when you were young. We lost them because we didn't have any idea or you know, nobody gave us, nobody told us to care about them. Is that where my neck's supposed to be? Well, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, way back here, correct, I know. That's not where it lives, That's okay. That's not where it wants to be. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, your neck just doesn't want to. Let me have it, uh, okay, let me have it, we'll focus right there, let it go. There you go. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was, wow. Yeah, your neck does not. It hasn't moved like that in a long time. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. think so. No. Poor neck has been jammed up. I worked with Gaston a few times outside the tavern. He's a hoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was always, yeah, we liked, we loved him when he was out. He's funny. People like to do like, the, like this for taking a picture. He's like, no, no, no. It's one. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him do push-up contests with so many guys, too. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the training, or would they allow you to be that character? Like, how many push-ups can you do? <laughs> Must be this tall bicep. <laughs> right. The left side of her back is all elevated. I'm sure. Can you see that crown from where you are? This is all low on this side, and the highest part is right here. Oh, I feel that. Yeah, all the ribs are all elevated. So this is going to be the lock side. I wouldn't be surprised if the right side is the abuse side. You're mm -hmm. in left avoidance, and then it's going to be. But you said earlier it was left hip that was hurting. Well, I think it, that's what started to hurt, and uh -huh. then I started compensating with my right hip, right. and now they both kind of hurt sometimes. So left injured, and now mm -hmm. you'll have the, com so it means you're, it's not that old, that makes sense, because yeah. the comp com compensatory pain hasn't really arrived yet. We're still in just left avoidance because you're avoiding the initial pain on the left, so it's a good sign. It means that we're not too far down the road. Oh, good. Let me get you, get you back on track. But right here, that knot right here needs to be crunched. Needs to be, yeah, that's where you didn't like. No, head, no! <laughs> Get out of there. There you go. So it's just, it's kinda, kinda boring, just me going here and, uh, I gotta handle me digging through you here and getting oh, all this moving. It feels nice, honestly, I'm good. All right, good, 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 okay. <laughs> Rick'em, rock em, rock em, Rick. <laughs> Stick him sword into this thing. You stay out of this. Devar, Devar. Right. He can't do it. Great. <laughs> That's my favorite Disney movie. Mm -hmm. I love that one. All the world for you and me. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Kind of a grainness right here. Oh, that's all. Yeah, that's, that's not... where I get the sharp pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just overstressed tension in here that influences and irritates the channel the nerves are going through.
Ooh, yeah, I'd say they're <laughs> almost like 30% larger on this left side. All the muscles are, you know, just more overdeveloped. Nobody ever should tell you that your core is weak. <laughs> Jeez. He has such a strong back. You need to loosen this back up. Right there. Oh, right. That's where the mark's going to come out, though. So the gua sha mark represents this. <laughs> <laughs> needs to be evicted. Do you eat Rice Krispie treats? Uh huh. Yeah, snap, crackle, and pop. I love those little Keebler elves. You know, like, yes, they're inside the tree making chocolate chip cookies. Doesn't make any sense. That's how I've described my body moving before. It's just like a snap, crackle, pop sound. Mm -hmm. I'm always creaking and cracking. So how quickly the mark comes up kind of also signifies how much is in there. You know, it's like vacuuming. <laughs> the more sound you hear, the probably the more Cheerios are in the carpet, you know. Yeah. yeah. So there's, over the course of treatment, eventually your skin just turns pink. You don't get any of this dark reddening. It's, I think of it as plaque on your teeth. It's something that, it's like cellular exhaust waste that gets trapped in the tissue due to the stiffness. It can't wash itself out of here. Oh, okay. So by working on the tissue, we open it up, dilate it, get blood flow in here. Kind of desensitizing, getting rid of the tenderness in the spine so that your back doesn't need to be avoided. Yeah, I would have days at the end of a long shift from standing, I guess, with bad posture where I physically could not round my shoulders back at all. Just, you know, so much back here that you couldn't yeah. try to confront it. Yep. There's some on the, on the right side, but you know, this is not nearly as bad as the left. Left's all clogged up. Yeah, that checks out with mm. how it felt, too. <laughs> mm. Mm. How's the gua sha feel? Like what you expected or different? It, it's kind of what I expected, but I didn't expect, probably should have, that my back would just feel warmer afterwards, mm. but it's nice. Toasty. Mm-hmm. I was going to say for this, I could just be like, well, go on YouTube.com. And That's right. <laughs> watch me get worked on it. Yeah, it's going to be out soon. Uh -huh. okay. Right there.
There it is. Oh, I know. Oh, he's so mean. Oh, boy. Oh, we gotta get you used to arching back a little more. And nobody's ever massaged me here before, so okay. <laughs> Let alone with the roller. Okay. I feel it. <laughs> I got you. It's okay. Here we go. Breathe. Lift up for me. Come on. Come on. Push your chest forward. It's okay. There you go. There, moved. Come on. Yep. Come on. Breathe. Oh, let's relax. Relax. Second. Third. I know. It's okay. <laughs> relax. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Relax. There you go. Let it, let it sink in. Good. Uh-huh. I know. That's difficult. I know. I to start working on <laughs> pushing all that in. So. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a lot of... That left side there is all. Yeah. Gotta get all that out of there. It's gonna be a little sore tomorrow. That's okay. different than I but thought it would be. It's just, that's why it's all. That's why you didn't like me pushing on it. Yeah. But we got it moving a little better there at the end. But Good. we wanna. The idea would be to then stretch and then you know if you get worked on again, they, mm -hmm. every visit it gets easier and easier to get those moving. Yeah. Go ahead. Open your jaw. Close. Yeah. Close. Yeah. It goes. Kind of goes over left and then centers and then back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't open symmetrically on both sides. So if there's tension in the TMJ, then it causes like levers, you know, this is pulling harder, and so when the jaw opens, it doesn't open symmetrically. Now that we talked earlier that the reason why these muscles get tight is because of our forward posture. So these right in here, these muscles get extra tension put on them because of our alignment. And so ultimately, we got to get the head back to clear this. But wow, I feel it, I mean, look at, Feel that right there? Mm -hmm. right? It doesn't even exist over here. Yeah. I mean, there's just nothing. There's nothing there. And then I got whatever you want to call <laughs> your roommate in here. <laughs> uh huh. You know, we gotta clear that. Bristly knot right there. I wasn't sure like what's supposed to be there and what's not, so I was like, I'm gonna leave it alone. Just nothing. It should, you know, there shouldn't be any. Mm. That isn't. Something special. <laughs> yeah, right there. There's. Well, I don't want to go too crazy, but yeah, that's where it needs to be. Is that pretty sore? Uh. Honestly, I don't know if I, it's because I mess with it so much already. Yeah. It doesn't hurt too much, but I feel it yeah. there for sure. Moving around. Well, just take your thumb exactly. Just keep, keep. Find a spot, compress. You know, none of that belongs in there. It needs to be worked and compressed and squeezed out of there. This is more normal. Just regular tension there. But right. Not. Well, just normal muscles. You have muscles yeah. in your face. It's just oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the muscle exists perfect, <gasps> but it's not all fluid and swollen and bruised and inflammation. It feels more normal on this side. Yeah. 
I way your jaw works. It, yeah, it opens it. Up. It goes over la <laughs> centers. Okay. <laughs> then, Do that again. It kind of goes to the left, and then it, it goes la. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you like open. Little, okay. So this part's probably being both sides are going to be abused at some point. You know, yeah. you can't having essentially this is all bound up. So this it pulls this open, then it finally lengthens. It's it's from the head being forward. We have to get your head back. Put your hand on your hip for me. Just like that. There we go. I'll have you look up for me a little bit. I'll have you press back with your elbow into my elbow. Okay. Just press back. Keep pressing back. Keep pressing back. There we go. It's okay. It's okay. Very good. Yeah. Right, put your other hand on your hip for me. There we go. Press back. Okay. Just really push it. There we go. Oh. Cool. There we go. That's good. <laughs> All right, go ahead and tilt your head to the right for me a little bit. Tilt right. Yeah, good. Okay. Tilt your head to the right a little bit. Okay. Good. Okay. I didn't know you. Poppy, you're so What is this guy doing? All right, go ahead and tilt left for me. There we go. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and tilt left. That's good. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> This ankle before, huh? I, I don't remember doing that, but I might. <laughs> there's, some, there's some scar tissue in there, right there. Oh my! Yeah, there's not much on this side. Then right in here, your foot doesn't want to. Try to bring your toes up, right? Or, like, like, I'm sorry, your foot up. Like try to bring the top of your foot upwards. Yeah, you're definitely more mobile. You're, you're we call it dorsiflexion. Your ability to bring this foot up is more than this side. This doesn't want to, it's like, <laughs> it's another, oh my God. it's a cup, yeah. cup more degrees that you can't actually dorsiflex. Now point your toes. Mm -hmm. It's about the same there, but when you bring your foot up. Yeah. You know what? I did hurt my right foot. I forgot about that. I was at Universal and I was standing and I moved my leg and then uh -huh. my, the top of my foot just started hurting like crazy. And yeah, you, it sprained it. Yeah. The joint, when I tried to adjust, it was like <laughs> <laughs> somebody had somebody had moved into an area that shouldn't be occupied by anybody. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, am I bothering you? <laughs> the body doesn't forget. Yeah, always. Yeah, right there. Oh. Man. That's a weird. It does feel a little yeah. weird. <laughs> Spot was, was more tender than I thought. Like it wasn't too bad, but it was still like, oh no, that's good. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Like, there we go. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. Let's move it down a little bit. Yeah, you definitely have some restriction there. Uh, these feel good. Yeah, just that left, that right ankle. So okay. you want to hold it for about. 20 minutes. There's not much benefit from going farther, so after 20 minutes you get off, go do something. It's better to do multiple 20 minute stretches versus like a 40 minute stretch. I'm getting some tingling in these yep. fingers. That's because you're stretching your shoulders back, so put your arms down. If that happens, just put your arms to the side okay. or even you can put your hands in your belly. That's not, you're not pinching anything, you're compressing the nerves okay. from, as you're stretching the pec muscles, I guess they're pressing down on the nerves, but you're mm -hmm. not, it's not pinched nerve in terms of it exiting your back. That's why okay. I have this book behind your head because I don't want you to bend too much with your lower neck. So yeah. you might need to put, you know, something behind your head because your back is stiff in your upper back. There's a your lower neck is going to be almost overzealous or eagle to do most of the bending. Yeah. So we want to have something to notice. Your neck isn't doing a stretch right now. It's it's mm -hmm. your back that we're trying to stretch, but we are stretching your shoulders back. And the more we bring your shoulders back, we're going to run into the monsters back there. So if it gets too difficult, it turns back down. But there you go. What? Just in that curved position. <laughs> you just kind of let your head sink into it. There you go. It's wow. Horrible Dr. Ed Hand. <laughs> the best that I have to emulate me, to allow you to have something to 
you know, copy me, but again, it's, it's the best we have. You know, use the weight of your head, and it's just more focused pressure. Take it, stick it behind your back. Just something to, right in the middle back or even up the yeah. back. That you know, looks awesome. You work that, like, like having an elbow that you can press into those areas. You know, when you laid down, your body was here, and then we took you back here, right? And mm -hmm. then now your body's going to want to be more in the middle. Yeah, and it feels like more natural, natural to be here. To be where you're supposed to be. You look more upright than in the beginning. Like, it so do, your way. And it doesn't, like, usually people have just told me stand up straight, and I try to, and it's painful, and so I stop after two seconds. <laughs> right. Well, you're, ow! No thanks. You know, or you can't, you actually, your muscles can't do it. How long can your muscles contract and hold you there? Mm -hmm. They get tired, and you go right back. So that's where that mirror image works. Overcorrect, hold, and then the middle is where you want to be. And then, like I said, when you're driving, you know, or having to sit for a lot of period of time, have something behind your back. Yeah, you definitely just look to me like you're just more upright. Right, so this, we'll have to work on this. And... All right, very good. Thank you Pleasure. So much. Thank you so much.